Hello everyone, and welcome to my Young and Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to Young and the Restless spoilers, Abby Newman Abbott might let questions about her future with Devin Hamilton Winters to surface once more. Even while Abby adores Devin and their life together with Rain and River Ware as Dominic Newman Abbott Winters Chancellor, she worries that marriage would undo everything. Thanks to Ashley Abbott's guidance, Abby appeared to have moved past her recent worries. However, Kyle Abbott then surfaced with forecasts regarding a divorce and child custody dispute. Although Kyle was just unhappy about his own experience with Summer Newman, Allison Lanier, what would happen if Abby finally began to worry that he could be correct? Although Abby would never want to argue with Devin over Dominic once more, it might happen if Kyle's prophecy comes to pass and their marriage collapses. Is everything leading up to Abby disappearing on her wedding day? Will Abby vanish, leaving Devin searching desperately for her? Devin may wish to find Abby and persuade her to once more put her heart in danger. Abby feels that this marriage decision is the right one, but as the wedding date approaches, she may require a reminder. Although Abby loves Devin and their life together with Dominic Newman Abbott Winters Chancellor, Rain and River Ware, part of her worries getting married could ruin everything. Abby seemed to work past her recent concerns thanks to Ashley Abbott's advice, but Kyle Abbott came along later to make predictions about a divorce and custody battle. Kyle was just upset over his own ordeal with Summer Newman, Allison Langer, but what if Abby eventually starts to fear that he's right? The last thing Abby would ever want is to fight with Devin over Dominic again, but it could happen if Kyle's warning comes true and this marriage ends in disaster. Could all this be building to a situation where Abby vanishes on her wedding day? Will Abby disappear and leave Devin frantic to find her? Devin might hope he can track Abby down and convince her to trust her heart again. This marriage decision feels right to Abby, but she might need a reminder as the nuptials fit closer. Of course, if Y and R wanted to do something extra soapy, they could have Jordan break out of prison and go after Victor Newman's often forgotten daughter. Maybe Abby could become a new kidnapping victim since she tie in both the Newman family and the Abbott clan just like Harrison Abbott did. It'd be interesting if everyone initially assumed Abby got cold feet and then panicked once Jordan sent a message about snatching Abby on her big day. Abby could go from runaway bride to kidnapping victim in the end. Jordan is stuck in a maximum security prison facility for now but we have no doubt that she'll manage to escape sooner or later. Could it happen just in time to target Abby on the day of her marriage ceremony? Of course, Y and R could have Jordan escape from prison and pursue Victor Newman's frequently overlooked daughter if they really wanted to do something really soap operatic. Given that Abby would have ties to both the Abbott and Newman families, like Harrison Abbott did, perhaps she would end up a new abduction victim. It would be intriguing if everyone thought Abby was hesitant and then became alarmed when Jordan said that she was going to steal Abby on her birthday. Abby can end up an abduction victim after running away from her husband. Jordan is currently incarcerated in a maximum security facility, but we are confident that she will eventually be able to break out. Is there a chance that it will strike Abby on the day of her wedding? Regardless, there's a chance that Abby and Devin's wedding will proceed as planned, so we'll keep you informed of any bad news that may arise. Stay tuned as teasers for the young and the restless indicate that Devin and Abby will undoubtedly encounter some significant setbacks. At Ruby Lights, Summer refreshes Phyllis on getting an appointed authority to prevent Kyle from taking Harrison to Paris. Phyllis asks how Kyle took it. Summer says he's blowing a gasket since he's understood he can't do anything he desires with regards to their child. Phyllis is feeling better for her. Summer tells her mom no part of this would occur in the event that she hadn't paid attention to her. She happens about her extraordinary ideas. Phyllis cautions her to report all that and consistently go through the courts. 
she'll continuously be in her corner. Summer values her. Phyllis tells her girl she went through a ton and merits this result. However, she needs to inquire. Isn't her terrible only a bit of spot? Summer demands she's not agitated with all. She won and Kyle lost, according to Phyllis and Harrison. How would you think not going to Paris will influence him? Summer sneers that the kid didn't actually have the foggiest idea what Paris was until his head was loaded up with experiences by Claire. She happened about how he was invigorated for the outing. Summer takes out the drawing Harrison made her wanting to partake in the good times. Phyllis says Claire clearly gave it to her to cause her to feel terrible. Summer says it worked. She feels regretful. Yet she ought to be the one doing fun things with him, not some babysitter. Do you believe I'm being preposterous? Phyllis says it doesn't make any difference her thought process, just what Summer feels. She feels Kyle is attempting to extract her from Harrison's life while he's hopping into bed with Audra Charles either in a real sense or metaphorically. He wants to comprehend his activities influence others. Phyllis cautions that he'll fight back so she wants to sort out subsequent stages. Summer has no clue about what he'll do. I don't know Kyle any longer. Not this form of him in any event. He's so enveloped with what he needs and everybody around him needs to conform. It terrifies her. Kyle goes into the Abbott house where Claire and Harrison are perusing a book about Paris on the couch. Harrison is rising over with energy about going the Eiffel Pinnacle. Kyle tells his child they won't have the option to do it this time. He won't have the option to go on him and Claire on the outing. Harrison inquires as to whether he accomplished something wrong. Kyle says obviously not. It's simply a work excursion and he'll be more occupied than he naturally suspected. Claire hypes up the things they can do in Geno City and lets him know that now his mother will not need to miss him to such an extent. Harrison was miserable his mother couldn't come. I get it's all right on the off chance that we don't go to Paris. Kyle embraces him and checks Claire out. Claire Harrison, Kyle Lai, and R. Kyle lets Harrison know how well he's taken care of this and commitments that they'll go to Paris some other time. Harrison inquires as to whether Claire can come. He says, obviously. Harrison inquires as to whether his mother can come as well. Kyle says they'll talk regarding it later. The youngster is shipped off to the kitchen, and Kyle says thanks to Claire for aiding him out. He regrets that late spring doesn't need him blissful, except if she's near. It's generally about her. Claire shushes him so the kid doesn't hear. Kyle certain mid-year will abuse him and whines that Harrison is disheartened thanks to her. He's apprehensive about what she'll attempt to pull while he's away. What I want is someone here who can look out, someone I can trust. Claire inquires, you mean me? Kyle is frantic. Summer is at risk to pull anything while he's gone. He simply needs her to inform him as to whether she does. At Chancellor, Billy maneuvers Lily into the workplace to take a gander at the new organization logo he had drawn up. She looks and it expresses Abbott in striking letters over Chancellor. She says it sends the explanation that Abbott is driving the transport and Chancellor is the traveler. She contends that Chancellor is the most settled organization. They don't sell beauty care products there. Abbott Chancellor makes very little difference to nobody. Billy conflicts. Lily's not amazed. Bill crows about them having their most memorable conflict as accomplices. It's invigorating, isn't it? Lily gives him an exasperated look. Billy, Lily, I, and R. Lily concurs that this is another beginning for Chancellor, yet she believes that the change should be smooth. The Abbott name isn't bringing anything of substance and it ought to be more unobtrusive in the logo. She figures it ought to be Chancellor Abbott. According to Billy, awesome. Consider it done. Billy Y and R. Nikki finds Victoria checking out at Victor's representation in his office. She asks how it feels to be back. Victoria's irresolute, yet she'll deal with it. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.